the crowds in what was effectively a farewell tour, the world's only flying Vulcan has taken to the skies for the very last time. Built in the 50s, she started life carrying the nation's Cold War nuclear deterrent and retired after being a Falklands War bomber. David Wood reports on the last of its kind. She has an agility and a grace that's made her a favourite with spectators. And this once legend of the skies is granted one final flight before a life on the ground. She was a Cold War icon and then Falklands bomber. Martin Withers was at the controls then and now for her last landing. I don't think it's hit me yet that, that, that this is genuinely uh, my last flight. Um, um, and, but it's, we all feel very, very sad that this has had to happen. And there's still life in the old girl. And, she flies so beautifully. The Vulcan was retired from the RAF in the 1980s. An XH558 was restored nearly a decade ago for use in air shows. But now, after a summer of headlining those shows, her flying certificates can't be renewed. At every air show, at every transit point, there have been cars parked, people looking skywards, uh, and a, a, a very moving, actually, affection for this aeroplane. And as a sign of the public's affection for the plane, this bomb carriage that once carried 21 bombs during the Falklands War now bears the names of thousands who've donated millions just to keep this plane up in the sky. The Avro Vulcan, Britain's revolutionary V-bomber, goes into service with the Royal Air Force. The Vulcan was initially built in the Cold War to carry Britain's nuclear deterrent. Apart from anything else, it is believed to be the world's fastest operational bomber. When that mission came to an end, retirement beckoned, but not before she was converted into a bomber for the Falklands War. Angus Laird was one of XH-558's early pilots and now must watch on as she's retired. Well, I think it's incredibly sad, but, I mean, time moves on. You, and, and you, it costs such an enormous amount of money to keep it going. I'm afraid for all of us the time has come, and uh, for this one the time is now. So after decades in the sky, the Vulcan's unique roar will never be heard again. XH558 New Home is a museum where her fans can come to her rather than her to them. David Wood, ITV News. Quite a sight. Now all this week we've been marking the